Hey Josh, this is Larry Powell, Circle P Marketing. I really apologize for the delay in getting this over to you. Uh, my wife is super pregnant and was needing help uh, putting my son down for a nap, so it kind of delayed everything a little bit. Um, so first thing I wanted to talk to you about is you said you do not currently have a website. Um, so I just wanted to show you an example of a website I just finished up here not too long ago. Um, you know, your website really doesn't have to be anything over the top. Um, we're really building these out to generate traffic for you. Um, so it doesn't have to be, you know, this is a great looking site, but I'm saying it doesn't have to be anything over the top again. Um, really the things we're focusing on is the click to call buttons. Um, so this is a click to call and this is a click to call. Um, what that means for people who are searching for your website, um, if they go to your website and they are on a mobile device, this allows them just to click and automatically connect with your business um, straight from their phone uh, without having to write down that number and type it back in. So that's very important. Um, another big thing with a website is the amount of content you have on this homepage. Um, so there was a recent study done by Google where they looked at over a million different websites across multiple niches and what they found from this is that 1500 to 2000 words of content um, is kind of the key for ranking um, so having that 1500 words of content on this home page will definitely help you out um, we can go into all the different you know services you're offering and obviously we could do windows on top of just the roofing um, so that's kind of what we would be going for with your website um, so looking at keywords and what I was able to find for you today, um, there's a lot of competition in Columbus. Um, so if you are open to, you know, targeting some of these smaller cities around Columbus, um, we definitely might be able to find stuff that's not quite as steep of competition. There is a lot of search volume, um, but there is definitely some competition behind that. Um, so looking at Roofer Columbus, Ohio, they're currently getting 450 searches per month. Um, you know, replacement Windows Columbus, Ohio, 250, Windows Columbus, 150, 150 here too. Uh, being in the top spot for one of these search terms, you can, you can count on getting about 33% of that search volume headed to your website. So definitely a good chunk of people that you would have going to your website once you get into that top spot for these search terms. Um, so we're going to be looking at Roofer Columbus, Ohio today just because it's the big hitter at 450 searches per month. Um, so looking at Roofer Columbus, Ohio, there's a couple different things we look for here. Everybody knows how to use Google. Um, not everybody fully understands what they're looking at. Um, so this was something that Google launched about a year ago. Um, it's their Google Guaranteed. Um, you know, you, there's definitely some benefit to having your business be the first thing people are seeing when they click on Google. Um, but you're going to see a lot higher return on investment and be getting a lot more leads. Um, by having your business organically ranked here in the three pack or GMB um, and organically ranked here in these search results. Um, so there's a couple different factors for how you can get your business into this three pack. Um, first thing, if you do not already have a GMB or Google My Business page, I would highly recommend getting started on that. Um, you just use your address, um, your phone number, and you can actually hide that address. So if you do have kids and stuff at home or your wife at home, you don't want people knowing where you live. Um, you can hide that address on this GMB so people aren't going to be going to that. Um, but getting started on that will definitely be a huge step in the right direction for you generating leads. Um, the next factor for how you get it ranked and into this three pack um, is what's called citations. And so citations is your business name, address, and phone number. Um, you list these on directory sites like Yelp, um, Home Advisor, or not Yelp, or not Home Advisor, um, Yelp and Yellow Book are great citation sources. So the more citation sources you have, um, the better your odds are of getting your business into this three pack. Um, another one is actually once you get your um, GMB built out, there's a spot on there for a description, uh, making sure that with that description, you include some of these high search volume keywords that you're really trying to rank for that you know people are searching for. Um, so when people are searching for those, you're going to be that first business that pops up when Google sees that that's a service you offer. Um, and then the last one is actually your your or your um, organic rankings so where your business sits organically um, and we'll go over what the competition looks like for that here in just a sec um, so when we're looking at the organic rankings um, i don't really include angie's list or home advisor in this just because google really prefers to rank the actual businesses over these large national directory websites mainly because these guys are in direct competition with what google has going on um, google offers the paid ads and so they're trying to get contractors to use them for their services. And these guys are trying to get, you know, contractors to buy leads from them. So Google really prefers uh, most of the time to rank these businesses over these guys 
as long as you're doing everything correctly on your website. Um, so looking at Newman Roofing Company, they're the top ranked. Um, looking at their website, they do have a nice site. They don't have a whole ton of content on this homepage. Um, definitely could pass them up content wise. Um, looking at the back end of their site, this is something that I haven't really talked about yet. Um, but what we're looking for as far as getting these websites ranked is called backlinks and referring domains. Um, so the best way to describe what a backlink is, it's kind of like a high school popularity contest. Um, so you have the most popular kid in school, and we'll call him website A, and he's going to link himself to the least popular kid in school, or say the least popular kid in school is popular now. Um, we'll call the least popular kid website B. Um, so by linking website A to website B, what happens is we bring up that popularity of website B, and it makes it look more popular in Google's eyes. Um, so what we're looking for on these is that they're do follow. So that do follow, what that means is that you're getting what we call backlink juice back to your website. Um, by getting that backlink juice back to your website, it's going to bring up the popularity and move you up in the search results much faster. Um, so the more do follow backlinks you have, the better your chances are of getting into that top spot. So if you have any questions on any of this or you want me to look at any other outlying areas and see if we can get into some easier territory, I'm not saying it's not a doable thing. We definitely can get you ranked in this. Um, but if you are want to look at some other areas as well, definitely let me know and I'd love to talk to you more about that. Thanks. Bye.